the Soviet Navy proposed in 1957 to obtain a new type of carrier-based anti-submarine helicopter to equip the fleet. For this purpose, the Kamov Design Bureau designed the KA-20 carrier-based helicopter, which was equipped with coaxial contra-rotating rotors, with the prototype first flying in 1960. The K-20 itself was the predecessor of the K-25 carrier-based helicopter. Its first public appearance was at the Tushino Air Show in July 1961, where NATO referred to it as the HARP. However, the K-20 did not enter service, but was further developed and modified into the famous K-25. The KA-20 used two GTD-3 turboshaft engines to provide power, which was a novel helicopter power system in the late 1950s. However, it had already demonstrated the advantages of small size and powerful output. The two engines of the K-20 provided 1,800 horsepower, which was impressive at the time. The helicopter could reach a maximum speed of 220 kilometers per hour and had a maximum range of 650 kilometers. The helicopter's surface was made of aluminum alloy skin fastened with rivets, and the engine was enclosed in a structure made of aluminum alloy and steel. The aluminum alloy cover could be unfolded and used as a maintenance platform for the engine. Since the basic structure of the helicopter was not significantly modified, the rotor structure and materials of the early models of the KA-20 and KA-25 should be the same. The helicopter's tail boom was relatively short, with three vertical fins at the end, one of which was fixed, and the other two had directional control surfaces. The horizontal tail had elevator control surfaces. The front of the helicopter was the cockpit, where the pilot and co-pilot sat side by side to control the aircraft. The radar, an important equipment of the helicopter, was installed in the bulging spherical structure underneath the nose of the helicopter. However, because the KA-20 was only a prototype, no other equipment was installed in the interior of the fuselage. Only two prototypes of the K-20 were produced, and the K-20s featured a small air-to-ground missile on each side of the fuselage. This suggested that the K-20 might have some offensive capability. In reality, these two missiles were just models, and at least at that time, the K-20 did not have the ability to launch missiles. The K-20 was equipped with fixed armaments with a machine gun mounted on each side of the front of the helicopter. The Soviet Union upgraded the K-20 with more powerful engines and installed combat equipment, resulting in the K-25 series of carrier-based helicopters. From a technical standpoint, the two were actually part of the same series, with the K-25 being the final version of the K-20. The most obvious external difference between the two was the tail, with the K-25 having a more square tail and the K-20 having a tail closer to an elliptical shape. Additionally, both helicopters used a four-point landing gear with slightly different support structures for the main landing gear, which is not easily noticeable. Some sources claim that the KA-20 was developed from the K-15A-18 series. The K-15 was the world's first mass-produced coaxial contra-rotating helicopter, a two-seat light helicopter, while the K-18 was an improved four-seat helicopter. There is a certain lineage between these three models, indicated by the coaxial contra-rotating rotors, four-point landing gear, and tail. The KA-20 had significant changes in the power system and overall layout, with many innovations, which ultimately led to the classic K-25 model.